you don't punch in and punch out at the end of the day. You're a non-commissioned officer from the moment you wake up till you go to sleep at night. Without the NCO, the Army just doesn't work. The NCO, we're the ones who actually train for missions. We're the one who really motivates soldiers. We're the ones who are firsthand working with soldiers to accomplish actual missions. So that's why we're the backbone of the Army. They can and are making a difference in the world at a critical time for our nation. They don't mind being part of an organization that's the best in the world at what it does and is seen across the world as the best army in the world. I'm inspired by previous NCOs in that I had the choice of joining this army or not, you know, a, a volunteer army. It wouldn't be so if not for the, the service and sacrifice of, of NCOs, of soldiers, uh, for the last 234 years. Together we go through uh, a lot of hard times. If one is out here in the field, we're all out here in the field. If one is having a hard time, we all have a hard time. We have never had a non-commissioned officer corps or a junior officer corps that is skilled as this one is. They have been down the street every single day looking the devil in the eye. Uh, they are an amazing group, every single one of them. What makes me a good NCO is being able to take care of soldiers. It's not about what rank I wear or what title I have. It's about taking care of soldiers. A good NCO can save a soldier's life. In this year, the year of the non-commissioned officer, we especially recognize the role, leadership, and service of our NCO Corps. Our Army is truly the strength of our nation, and our non-commissioned officers are the glue that is holding our Army together in this era of persistent conflict. We do this because we know we have an important job to do, and we train soldiers to be future leaders. I love it. It's the best job I've ever had, being a non-commissioned officer. I think the average American has to understand what a uh, national treasury he has in the Army, in the armed services, not just the Army, but at, at a different level, what a national treasury they have in their non-commissioned officer corps. The only way you can grow those non-commissioned officers is from the ranks, from the soldiers out there, through their experience that they gain, to step up into those leadership positions of responsibility. Regardless of the pay, regardless of anything else that they would challenge me with, I'd rather be a non-commissioned officer than to be anything else. Everything that we know and everything that we do is an inheritance from the legacy of service of 234 years of non-commissioned officers. So we serve to pass on that knowledge to generations of people to come and to act as the most professional core of non-commissioned officers that ideally the United States has ever known.